Hey, so uh, today I went fishing out at Sullivan's Island with my son and my wife. Um, waiting on her to give birth, so haven't been making many videos lately. Um, but get back to it soon. Um, but while we were out at Sullivan's Island, I didn't catch anything. And all the video that I took of, a, of me fishing was just me not catching anything and hanging out with my son. So I didn't include any of it uh, in this video today. But while I was out there, there was uh, four or five shark fishermen, and they were they were getting it in out there. They they were having a lot of luck. Um, so this is basically I asked them if I could video them a little bit and throw it on YouTube and a couple things, and they were like, "Yeah, sure." Um, so this is basically their, a video of these guys. So basically, this is the uh, the first shark that I that I witnessed them catch. Uh, my wife took this video. I was still fishing with my son, but um, she ran over and kind of took a little video of the first one. That was a little nine foot shark, so nothing to be ashamed of. This is the first documented shark toss of the day. <clears throat> so hey, um, to kind of show. Uh, how, how these guys are catching these sharks. I made like a small scale uh, version of what they were doing. So instead of their big, ginormous, strong uh, offshore reels, I just put my son's transformers and um, it runs to like a swivel. So what those guys are doing is um, using like cinder blocks or heavy biodegradable weights that if they, you know, if they're left in the ocean, they're not really gonna hurt anything or the environment. Um, so they'll take that, and I'm, I'm just using a lead weight here to sh signify that, and then they'll take a uh, super light gauged um, fishing line, like maybe 10 pound or eight or 20 or something, something that's a lot less than what they're using to catch these big sharks. And they'll run that back to their swivel. Um, and then from the swivel, they'll have uh, another heavy, heavy gauge like steel leader with a huge hook and a big piece of cut bait. Those guys, I saw the bait they were using today and it was like the size of your head almost uh, with some real big hooks. Um, and then from that swivel, it just goes straight back to your rod. So when they, they're they using kayaks to kayak their bait all the way out because you can't throw as far as they need to get. So the drop off's out like 150 yards or maybe 200 yards. So they kayak out there and just drop the um, cinder block down and then it'll go down to the bottom and then catch on um, whatever because it's drop off so there's like rocks and all kind of debris and anchors and BS out there so it catches on something and then they can tighten up their line and then it'll allow this to just kind of free float in the water and this is what the, uh, the shark's going to grab a hold to and when they grab it and take off with it it's all heavy except for this uh, this little light leader so this will break and leave the cinder, lo cinder block behind and um, that'll allow you to just just be fighting the fish and you won't be pulling up a cinder block with you. Um, the guys today I think they were using a slightly different method um, like a sock with maybe like sand in it or something which would work um, the same but different because um, this it would catch but then I'm sure if the shark took off it would I think it would the idea is it would rip the sock open and the sand would come out and then it would just, nothing's really left behind but sand. Um, but I, I guess you could do it any, any way. I'm not really sure. I don't shark fish, so I've just seen, you know, or heard hearsay on how other people do it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the general idea though. So yeah, thanks. You can tell these guys fish together quite a bit, because uh, one of his uh, one of his buddies over there was with the shirt off, was giving him a hard time, telling him he looked like a stormtrooper from, uh, from Star Wars. It was pretty funny. That guy right there. In reality, he's actually he's, he's actually wearing some pretty high end fishing apparel there, but he's still giving him a hard time. And his khaki sh He's got his pocket out like me in my first video. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been doing this for like two hours and I just noticed that.
This here is attempt number two. <laughs> You'll see here there's a good bit of blood coming out of the shark, but he's alright. He's uh, They end up just cutting and leaving the hook, so I wish he would. This just shows you how strong these these, uh, these sharks are. I mean, he's a big old boy, um, and he's having a tough time getting that sucker in. You'll see he jumps on his back, and uh, the shark doesn't care. He just rolls right up out of him, just about. Um, big guy. He is a big guy. Run for his money, but he's done it before, so. Like and subscribe to my channel on Facebook and YouTube, Green Pumpkin Seed Lizard. Thanks for watching.